So, Julia, so nice to see you. You as well. Because, you know what? The movie really, I saw it uh, some days ago, and today I was walking, and it still is with me. So, it very, no, it really, it, I really loved it. Thank you. And maybe one of my favorite of the year, I have to oh, say. Thank no, you. No, without a joke. Um, and then, how important is it for you as, as a filmmaker? I know as an artist, you can't think of, oh, what do critics say? But they all love you. I saw Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> so how important is that for you? Or is it only the cherry on the ice for you? You know, thank you so much. You made my day by <laughs> saying all of that. I, I love making movies and I feel so lucky that that's what I get to do. It's a second career for me. So it was something that I really had to like, work to get out of my first career to, I was a teacher to make happen. And so I had to like really want to make it happen. And so I, I just feel so lucky that I get to make movies, but part of what is so wonderful about making movies is yes, of course, the making of it with people you love, but the sharing of it, it's such a gift that I get to do both of those things. And so when people respond positively to the film and feel connected to it, tell me they're still thinking about it days later. It's not just the cherry on top. It's sort of the whole point. You know, I will get to keep making movies if they speak to people. And so my movie speaking to people is really important to me. Because I always thought there is the saying, Julia, you're always as sick as your secrets, right? Mm. And I thought that through the whole film, I thought, what the fuck? That's right. <laughs> you're always as sick as, you know, what we carry with us. Um, could you agree to that? I do. The film is very much about, I mean, it's a cliche, but the truth will set you free. And that as long as you're living a lie or keeping secrets, you know, Terry talks about how they put the secrets in a box and they put that box in a drawer and they try to ignore it and you can't. The truth always finds its way out no matter how deep down you try to bury it. And that as scary as it might seem to tell the truth or to discover the truth, there's no such thing as real happiness until you do. And so that was really an important part of Gene's journey for me. I mean, and you have such a wonderful, talented cast. I fell in love with, <laughs> with all of them, you know. What did you personally, as a person, as Julia, what did you learn from that ride to do the movie? How did you grow on it? Oh man, I did, so, I did so much growing on this movie because I was doing so many things I had never done before as a filmmaker. We had 300 background actors in a nightclub shootout scene with a bunch of stunt players as well and our lead actress and our DP operating the camera through all of that chaos. I directed my first car chase. I'd never worked, with, I have two babies of my own but I'd never worked with a baby in a film like that before. So there were a lot of challenges but it really does as you, you, know, you mentioned the wonderful talented cast and that is really at the end of the day what makes it all work. Like if you're working with people who are collaborative and talented and you're doing new things, you feel like you can achieve them if you're all in it together and there is love and respect in all of those, you know, ambitious pursuits. Absolutely. We have to wrap, Julia, but really thank you so much. It's going to be a wonderful Christmas for you, even if it's <laughs> Corona, I know it. Stay safe and thanks again. Thank you so much. You really made my day. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.